Hi everybody and welcome back. In today's video, we are gonna be making one of our favorite modern classic cocktails known as the Naked and Famous. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about the cocktail family structure. We're of course gonna make the cocktail and then stay tuned to the very end because we're gonna use that cocktail family structure to make our own fun twist on this modern classic. Hi everybody, I'm Chris from A Bar Above. I'm a 15 year veteran of the bar and somebody that loves making fun and delicious cocktails. Before we make the Naked and Famous, let's quickly take a look at its structure because this is a very interesting cocktail. It belongs in a subfamily of cocktails that are all very popular, such as the Last Word, the Paper Plane, and even the Corpse Reviver. And this subfamily is kind of a mashup of a couple different cocktail families like the Improved Sour or even a Crusta. And the subfamily belongs in a much larger family known as the Sour. Now, the defining feature of this particular subfamily is that we're using liqueurs instead of traditional sweeteners. And the byproduct of this is that the cocktails that come out of this cocktail family are very intense. They have a lot of character and they have a lot of alcohol. And so when we go to make the cocktail, we have to be very particular when it comes to the balance of these drinks because they do take a little bit more of a delicate hand. Now, there's no better way to show you this than to make one together. So let's go ahead and make the Naked and Famous. Delicious, delicious ch chartreuse. And now we just shake it up. All right, nice and easy. One of the reasons I love our cocktail shakers. And there we have the Naked and Famous. That is a very delicious cocktail. Nice and smoky, a little bit of that bitterness. Definitely has a thumbprint of the last word, but a little bit more tropical, if that makes sense. This is really, really fun. But now, let's go ahead and make our version of it. So the spirits that we're gonna be using are Bacanor in place of Mezcal. It still has kind of that smoky, meaty kind of flavor to it. It's gonna be a really good substitute. And then we're gonna be using a really delicious Pineapple Amaro in place of the Aperol. And this is gonna give us a really very tropical vibe, um, but still a lot of flavor and some of that bitterness as well. Now, instead of the yellow chartreuse, we're using a really old school ingredient called Benedictine. It brings that kind of Alpine kind of herbal essence to it. Um, but in a different way. So some of this. And finally, to kind of boost up some of the flavor and add some more nuance to the cocktail, we're gonna make uh, or use some of our own homemade herbal bitters. This is a really beautiful combination of uh, herbs in here and it helps to kind of dry out on the finish. It's really delicious. And of course, we're just gonna use lime juice. And once again, just gonna go ahead and shake it. And there we have it, our twist on the Naked and Famous. Now let's go ahead and taste it and compare it to the original. That is delicious. A lot more clean. You still get some smoke from the uh, Bacanora. The pineapple definitely shines through. It tastes a lot more like a daisy 
than what we were tasting earlier. So as it kind of compares, the Aperol definitely has much more bitterness in there. The Chartreuse just has a lot deeper of a flavor compared to Benedictine. So this is much more subtle where this is much more in your face. So there we have it. We've made the Naked and Famous. We've talked about the cocktail family structure, and then we've used that structure to come up with our own fun variation of it. This one does drink more like a daisy, but in a really nice, refreshing, good way. It's something I actually quite enjoy. So if you have your own favorite version of a daisy or the Naked and Famous, put them in the comments below. Now, if you wanna learn more about cocktails and kind of how to make your own cocktails, hit the like, subscribe, and the bell icon, and you'll get notified anytime we release cocktail videos similar to this one. Until then, I hope you are enjoying your favorite version of the Naked and Famous. It's hard to beat a classic. Cheers.